So you've been approached by an artist to be their DJ during a performance, but you've never done this before. Where do you begin? Let's talk about that right now. This is Share the Knowledge. What's going on? Welcome to Share the Knowledge. I'm DJ TLM, I'm representing DJ City out here in Amsterdam, and I want to talk about DJing for an artist. I receive a lot of questions about this topic, especially from beginner DJs who've never done this before, and now they've been approached by an artist who wants them to DJ during a live show. Now, you can DJ at a performance and DJ right before the main act. That's not what I'm talking about right here. That's actually just being the warm-up DJ. I'm talking about being the actual DJ who provides the artist with the music during the performance. Now, the reason a lot of people ask me is because I have experience with this topic. I've been a tour DJ for an MC out of Amsterdam called Brain Power for over 20 years. And in that time, we've done over 3,500 live shows. Now, right off the bat, the most important thing is preparation. And when you're the tour DJ for an artist, that preparation is part of the process. So when it comes to me and Brain Power, we have a rehearsal process. When we do shows, when we do tours, everything gets prepared. Track lists will get made. We'll talk about what backing vocals I have to do because I also do the backing vocals. How is the show started? Do I have to do a special turntable as an intro or showcase? Where am I going to do scratches? You name it, special edits, there are all sorts of things involved and all of those things get talked about and prepared during that rehearsal part of the process. But here's the thing, this is not always the case when an artist asks you to be the DJ. A lot of artists are just looking for someone who will press start during their performance for that one time. So you're not gonna be their tour DJ, you're just being asked to provide the music for that actual performance. In that case, it's very important that you demand some sort of preparation. Now you might not be able to get like an entire rehearsal session with the artist, but if that's not the case, you want to make sure that you have all of the information and files needed to perform that performance the right way. Now I say that because I've been in the situation plenty of times when I was not DJing for brain power, but I was actually the DJ at an event. I was playing the entire event, but they also had live performances and I was asked to also play their music. Now, if you've been in that situation before, you know what that's like. They'll give you a CD three minutes before it's time to go on and they'll tell you that they'll let you know which songs to play and you start or they'll give you flash drive, same situation. And when you start, they'll tell you start with song four, you'll start song four and after 10 seconds, they're like, yo, 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 wait, wait, DJ, DJ, that's the wrong track, bring it back. At that point, people are looking at the DJ, at you as the person who made the mistake when you're just following the information that was given to you. I've been in that situation, I absolutely hate it. It makes me look like I'm not the professional when it's actually the artist who's slacking. They're not giving you the right info or maybe they just decided to last second they want to play a different track but they don't fully respect you as a DJ they're just basically treating you as a machine who plays the music you're the jukebox play track five play track four so you want to avoid that at all costs and the way to do that is to make sure that you have all of the information in advance so you want to have a track list the set list all tracks on paper so you can see exactly how the show is supposed to go you want to have all of the tracks, the instrumental, the files in advance. So they'll bring it to you, mail it to you, however they want to do it. You want to have those songs so you can actually check the songs, listen to the songs, add cue points to the song. And from there, if you have any questions, you ask them questions as well. All right, do you want me to start the song straight away after the last song is done? Are you going to talk to the crowd in between? Make sure you talk about things like how the artist can cue you to start and stop a track. Maybe certain tracks are supposed to be stopped before the actual end of the song. You want to know those things in advance because that way there's going to be clear communication. There's going to be less chance of having mistakes happen. You're going to look pro because you actually were pro and you came prepared. Now, in the case that this happens on the spot and you're the DJ at an event and all of a sudden there's a live act and they're asking you if you can play the music for the artist, you have to think to yourself if it is actually something you want to do. I know that in the beginning I did it a couple of times and afterwards I was like, why did I just do that? The artist didn't even thank me. I looked like an amateur and I did not see an upside for me. It wasn't even like I had a great experience playing with an artist because they did not treat me as a DJ as part of the performance. They just treated me like I was there to just press play. So think about if you really want to do that. If you've been booked to DJ at a party, it doesn't mean that you're also booked to be some artist's DJ. 
Like normally if I DJ for an artist, I'm getting paid for that regardless if I'm DJing at that spot. So that's something you have to decide for yourself, but make sure you're prepared. And if you don't feel it's gonna be good for you and someone asks you on the spot, you have the option to say no, or at least discuss it with whoever booked you to see what the best way would be to handle this. That's the way I look at it. You might view it differently, but I'm very interested to see and hear how you approach situations like this. Have you ever done this? Have you been a tour DJ? Have you played music for an artist on the spot? Let me know in the comment section down below join the conversation, let's share that knowledge. That's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to DJ City TV to check out all of the other video content and I'll be back soon. Peace.